this is day one of the breaking process with the horse in the yard, mouse. She is a rising three-year-old buckskin filly that was bought at the Camden sales about three months ago. She's been left out in the paddock on some green feed and also some supplements as she was about a condition one and a half which is very emaciated when we bought her. Several problems that I've identified with this horse is she is quite fearful, especially around the head and ears, which would lead me to believe that she has been ear twitched at the sales, possibly to get hog cut, or moved onto a trailer for transport. Although this horse has been halter broken, she is still quite nervous about the whole process. This again would indicate some form of rough handling or that she has been scared of humans in the past. So with every horse, we generally use the shoulder as a balancing point when we're working them around. If we stand at the shoulder, they will stop. Behind the shoulder, they will move forward. And in front of the shoulder, they will move back. This is when we were working them around on a circle. As you can see, just trying to get a handle on her head and let her know that there's nothing to fear. She wants to follow me, so that's good. Moving her around to the other side in the other direction. Every movement we do in the pre-breaking is equal on both sides. So when we can't handle a certain part of the horse, it's wise to go back to square one, rubbing them all over the neck, the shoulder, across the stomach and flank, and down a little way down the leg, and again on the other side. Just letting her know that I'm not going to hurt her in any way. Keeping in mind that every movement we perform now has to be quiet and calm, knowing that it's building blocks that gets you to the breaking process. So what will start as rubbing down the leg turns into picking up and handling the leg.